Hello, everybody, and uh, thanks for the Connect team to making this event happen, because what we all like most is networking. And networking is about communication, and what you do need for communication is a network. And the new kid in town is 5G, and I want to present you today what is a 5G mobile private network, what do you need to do to set up a mobile private network, what is its purpose, and real use cases we are currently implementing with our customers. So I think, so what you do need to run a mobile private network? You need to have all the hardware and software to run a mobile private network. And this is the big brother of the setup we are showing at our booth on the right side or left side as you're sitting there. And you're hardly welcome to visit us on our booth and to see a live 5G mobile private network up and running. So what is it, what you can see there? It is fully virtualized, based on standard hardware and software components. Our technology flavor is open run because we are setting up on standard hardware and software components, and you have a future uh, outlook of being multi-vendor purpose available for running different vendors of hardware and software for your own private network, and everything is up and running immediately after you turn on the machines. So it's fully scalable and expandable due to virtualization. You can grow to your needs. We can add more servers, add more functionalities. So you can grow with your use cases and your requirements. Having standard software and hardware components, it's easy to integrate into your existing IT landscape. No proprietary systems, standard hardware, standard software components you can use into your IT processes and systems. It's future-proof due to open run, and it's a turnkey solution ready to use when we ship it to you. But what is a 5G mobile private network? It's a standalone isolated network running on your area, on your campus. There's no integration with any other micro network, so with any other mobile network operator. It's your an own network you build and run on your own premises. The Bundesnetzagentur in Germany has reserved a 100 megahertz frequency spectrum to set up and run your own private network on your own private frequencies. Other countries are following the German example, like France, who has raised their own frequency spectrum end of February this year and more to come, hopefully. So for a long term, we in Germany, we managed to be a market leader providing private frequencies to the industry. It's a very, very good and exciting approach. When you think of, okay, it's an isolated network and I cannot use it and integrate it with a, mobile uh, with a mobile network operator. Can I use my smartphone as well? Yes, you can. I have two SIM cards here in my smartphone. The one is the mobile, number, the mobile network operator I have a contract with, and the second is the Cocos 5G SIM card. So I can do my phone calls regularly via my mobile network operator, and I, whenever I enter the area of a campus network, or like here where we set up our own campus network, the second SIM card is automatically using that network. So you have a very safe and secure data um, communication by using two different SIM cards. Why should you implement an own 5G network? What is its purpose and why should you do so? I do have my Wi-Fi network, so why do I need a 5G network? Because 5G omits all the difficulties and problems I do have with my current and existing network infrastructure. With a cable network, I cannot fulfill any mobile use case, so I do need some wireless communication. With a Wi-Fi network, I can fulfill mobility use cases, but as said, with 5G, we, uh, you can run your own network on a private frequency spectrum. No one is allowed to use at the same area the same frequency spectrum. With the uh, Wi-Fi network, it's based on public frequencies. Any thing, any smartphone, any other application, 
even the remote controlled car by your son is disturbing those networks. So if you want to run an interference-free network, a 5G mobile private network has way more benefits towards a Wi-Fi network. And that's why we said, okay, 5G meets the requirements for industrial IoT use cases. You can set up the coverage wherever you want, on all areas of your campus. You run and operate everything by your own. You have full control of that network. And being an isolated network, it fulfills all the security requirements you or your security officer may have. Coming to real life examples. What are we implementing so far with our customers? With the um, University of Bonn-Rhein-Sieg, we have provided them a mobile private network. As you can see, it's the big brother, two antennas in the background, and they want to use it and move it around on their campus to run it in different rooms. And a good friend of us said, hey, it's easy to ship, easy to run, easy to move. Why don't you call it campus to go? And we said, okay, yeah, that's a very interesting idea. Thank you, Hartmann, for, for the naming. Next bottle of wine is to you. <laughs> and yes, I said, okay, campus to go is a very, very good um, abbreviation and explanation of what we are aiming at. Easy to ship, easy to run, easy to use wherever you want. And we are supporting the uh, University of Bonn, Rhein-Sieg, with e-learning implementations and use cases. And one of the most interesting things is what we're jointly doing together with them is certificate-based authentication. So no need anymore for a SIM card. That's a very, very interesting thing because whenever we talk to in industrial customers, they do have their own Wi-Fi and cable-bound network, and they all have their certificates up and running. And they said, okay, why can't I use a certificate on a smartphone or on an IoT device to authenticate it via a 5G network? Why must I use a SIM card? And we said, okay, that's a very, very good question. Let's take a deeper look at it. So that's why we do have a collaboration with the University of Bonn-Rhein-Sieg to work on that. One of our biggest customers today is the Seaport of Wismar. The Seaport of Wismar uh, um, has a public funded project, the Portable 5.0 project, to set up the newest digital environment to provide, um, um, to provide a test area for industrial use cases for companies around Weimar and other companies and even for the log whole logistics to come over to the Seaport of Wismar and test their use cases and their ideas what can be achieved within 5G. The Seaport itself has three major use cases. The one is remote operated shiploaders. So there will be no longer sitting any person on top of the cranes or the shiploaders. The person will sit in the office, have two joysticks, four monitors, and they remotely control the shiploaders. Second thing is remote controlled operation of trucks. As you can see here at the red bubble, this is where the ships will be unloaded with woods from Finland, and then it needs to be shipped to the wood company in the north. And this should be done by remote controlled trucks. This is the second use case. And the third use case is using drones to do two things. The first thing is to check how big or how small is the amount of salt or wood stored. And second thing is remote maintenance, checking whether or not there are leakages, leakages whatever, on the cranes, on the buildings, to then send someone to repair it. Three big use cases that will be implemented in the next two to three years and test over there. And yes, and why do they do need a 5G mobile private network? When you talk about remote control things, 
you need to have eyes out there. So cameras on the shiploaders, on the trucks, providing 4K video streams, so you do need high bandwidth. And if you want to remote control anything, you need to have low latency. Driving a truck with 30 kilometers an hour and a stop signal will take longer than 20 milliseconds. You can calculate by yourself how much further it is going to really stop. So having real-time communication and low latency communication is crucial to remote operate and remote control trains or trucks. Imagine a crane of 40 tons, only moving 15 centimeters beyond the stop lock. There will be no stop lock anymore. Yeah? So low latency communication, high bandwidth communication is crucial for such use cases. And as you can see, Yes, if we talk to other ports, they are smiling about 600,000 square meters, but it's a very good test area, and 600,000 square meters means a lot of antenna technologies. And that's another topic, because when we were asked, why can't we use Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is way more cheaper. The Wi-Fi antenna costs a fifth of a 5G antenna. Yes, correct but you only need five times less 5G antennas than Wi-Fi antennas. Yeah, so total cost of ownership for the buying of the hardware is equal. But then you need to connect five times more antennas with copper or fiber, so you do have more costs in attaching the antennas of a Wi-Fi network than attaching five times less antennas in a 5G network. Yeah, that needs to be considered. And that, to a technology that is very new today, and the cost will go down for 5G equipment. That needs to be considered. So when you talk about Wi-Fi and costs, it's almost equal. If you talk about the benefits, private network frequencies, public versus public network frequencies, seamless handover you can only achieve in a, in a mobile network versus interrupts in a Wi-Fi network. Whenever you remote control something and the connection will fail, the vehicle will stop. That will not happen in a mobile network. Last example is Fraunhofer in St. Augustine. Fraunhofer has two major use cases. One is indoor in the big building in the middle, and the second is outdoor around the three or four buildings in the northwestern area of the picture. We are setting up a 5G mobile private network for indoor and outdoor use cases, and they want to provide a test area for small and medium enterprises around the area of Bonn and St. Augustine for companies coming over there, test their ideas, their ideas in 5G, test their use cases in 5G. And what we're doing with Fraunhofer together is jointly doing research and development for location services, for 5G-based location services. And you said, okay, outdoor, why do, you, why do I need a 5G location service? I can use GNSS or GPS? Yes, of course. But whenever it comes to indoor use cases, you do not want to have two different technologies or additional sensors, etc. So the idea is using, in future, 5G, as a location um, function for locating assets within your network without any third-party devices. That's what we are doing together with them. When you're asking yourself, okay, how long will it take to set up such a 5G mobile private network? With respect to the current chip crisis and the availability of hardware that is not in our hands, we currently say three to four months from ordering to operations for such a mobile private network. And we're helping you in the planning, in the implementation phase, and we maintain, and if you want to, we can also operate your 5G network. 
And why should you go with cookers? What I said earlier, open run, virtualization, our aim is, we are an IT solution provider, and our aim is providing IT solutions for IT departments and for IT people. Not providing proprietary telco solutions, but providing IT solutions to IT departments to easier make it to integrate a 5G mobile private network into their own IT processes and landscape. And that's based on our 20 years of experience we do already have in the area of mobile telecommunication. But we, as I said, we are an IT solution provider. We are not providing or manufacturing hardware. We do have strong partners. Airspan is the partner of choice for the open run radio equipment, and Fibrolan is the partner of choice for the time critical, high performance switching infrastructure you do need. Whenever you want to run a 5G mobile private network, timing is crucial. And then you cannot use any switching hardware. You do need special switching hardware that is very, very time sensitive. And yes, you need, do need strong partners as well as strong partners do need us. Industry needs partners like us, helping them integrate a 5G mobile private network into their IT infrastructure. And we do need partners as well. And having a strong network, as Jan Busch from, from O2 recently said in the other room, the 5G mobile private network market in Germany is a very huge market. And you cannot do anything by yourself. You do need a strong network and strong partners and strong partnerships to um, approach those markets. Yes. And if you like to come to us, Visit us on our booth. Put your hands on a real 5G network. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you.